Um, hello again. I'm back with another post video, and you know this time it's redrawing the Hawkman Funko Pop. Absolutely love the design. I'm so glad that you know. First of all, he looks perfect. He sounds perfect. I hope he gets his own solo movie. Um, yeah. So I finally watched Black Adam. Yeah, me personally, I loved it. I don't know. You know, it's like it tried doing you know the rock. He didn't give too much into his rockisms and you know, stuff where that we're used to seeing him. You know, like, we all know. What I'm talking about, and everyone else has repeated the same thing, is that he tried doing something different, and I think that worked out. I wish he was a bit more serious, obviously, and you know, maybe they leaned into the villainous role a bit more or something, or they dived into his history. But I guess splitting his origin between the sun and him sort of works, sort of doesn't. Like, you know, it's like the movie is a weird mix of everything, and like, I still loved it, and I felt like I st it still worked for me. Like, there were certain elements I thought, you know, like certain song choices especially, I thought, why use songs in this moment when the score is amazing? Especially when the slow-mo slow motion scene happened when he first exited the cave. It was very Iron Man-esque, but also then they went into Quicksilver. So I thought, instead of putting a song there, why not just slow down the main theme song? Like, I'm pretty sure the composer would have done something amazing there as well. I think it would have really worked and helped the scene. Because, you know, with the song, it kind of took me out. But then I still enjoyed the scene, like, everything that's happening. But I'm like, weird song choice. Because the theme song is so good. Like, I love the JSA. Like, I'm just repeating what everyone else has said. I love the JSA. Like, I love the movie. And I hope we get spin-offs and sequels. Especially for, like, Hawkman, Dr. Fate. I want more of Pierce Brosnan as so Dr. Fate. It's kind of annoying that they killed him off. I'm like, although he was a full character, he lived a life and, you know, it was, okay, I understand they had to kill someone. But no, like, not really. You didn't need to kill someone. You could have just kept him alive for the next movie. And I guess they just want to pass the f helmet of fate onto Khalid. Maybe a bit too soon for him. Like, I get... It sort of also hits diversity points. But I'm like, I understand wanting to pass on the mantle. But it's like, you just introduced Kent Nelson into the big screen and, you know, you got 007 and you kill him off so quickly. I'm guessing they're probably going to bring him back as a, I don't know, as a guide to Khalid. So I guess that's a plus. But, his, you know, his outfit was just so amazing. that, And he was amazing. But, any, but whatever, it's like can't do anything about it I just maybe if we get a prequel series it might be amazing that like, you know we, they could bring him back but then I guess they might have to de-age him hopefully not all this Hodge's Hawkman was amazing and he was very headstrong very straightforward everything this is so great and now the movie felt like they cut so much out just to get to the action like it where it was like from the start to finish one bullet train like I'm like nope if they slow down like you know give us time to breathe just let us soak up what we've seen because you know it's like there's so many visuals and there's so many scenes that are, look gorgeous like, or the stuff that's happening like you know the way like Adam was like stopping the bullets in the market scene that was so cool I was like oh that's very nice like using the camera to move along with his hand like you know it's such a simple trick but it looked amazing and and it's like that's not something that sticks with you because there's so much happening you know the like we're, we're just we're just being exposed to exposed to so much sort of forgetting certain scenes i've seen a lot of people say that the post credit scene is the one thing that they remember like they forget the entire movie beforehand and i can totally understand why they just needed to slow down i guess that's why the last post credit scene worked so well it was a slow scene and obviously henry cavill is back as superman and that's probably why it works you know, I'm just repeating what everyone else is saying. I love the movie. I thought it was amazing. I will hope we get sequels. I hope we get a JSA corner of the DC universe where they explore the JSA, the villains, the history. Introduce a JSA movie or if we get a Black Adam 2, like bring in Jay Garrick, bring in Ted Grant, you know, like bring all the JSA members in. Let's go. And then, you know, after watching the entire movie, you're like, okay, how would Billy play into this? Like, how would you figure out that rivalry between Billy and Adam? And I was thinking maybe, you know, they could go, Black Adam finds out about Billy, he's annoyed. And also he finds out about the wizard being alive. Maybe he's annoyed that the wizard chose a new champion, put another kid's life in danger. And, you know, because he, essen he essentially lost everything because the wizard chose his son. Even though it's so positive that his son became the champion and everything, right? And he saved so many people. But from his point of view, he could be like, because of you, I lost my wife, I lost everything. And he might be annoyed you're essentially doing that to someone else. And how many has he done? Maybe, and the fact that, you know, it's like he went and chose someone else. It might feel like Black Ad to Black Adam that his son was just a throwaway. 
right so that might be an interesting angle to go to and then you know basically billions on the other side where he's like no i have to protect the wizard you can't kill the wizard i have to protect him like he essentially gave me the family i wanted through him because his powers were sort of like made him more open you know he discovered what he needed to he became the child he needed to be through his powers in a way right and now he's got an entire family of people with powers and then he has the wizard who is sort of like a another parental figure so it's like yeah i have to like protect him you can't kill him and maybe that's how they could form the rivalry that's how they could clash but i don't know let's see what happens it's getting to the end of the drawing and I'm spending way too much time on this. If you've liked what you've seen, comment below and thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.